Hey guys, Miss Sherry Shifter here. I'm filming the intro video to the hairstyle that you see on the cover here. Uh, to the basically really classy Hollywood waves. This is going to be a longer video. I It shows doing the complete heatless curl set and the hairstyle. I had meant to film this the day that I had done the hair, but I ended up running out of time. I was in a rush. So, yeah, please keep watching. I hope you guys like it. The next video I do, I promise, won't be so long, and I will actually be able to do a proper intro like I would have liked to with this one. But bear with me on how long this video is. I promise it's worth it. It's basically going from the chaotic mess that is my hair after I blow dry it to something really pretty and classy. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Okay, we're learning how to take our hair from this chaotic jumble of a mess to this very classy Hollywood wave style. My hair was recently blow dried, which is why it's so nuts. But we start off by parting the front of the hair that you want to be the focal point for this look. I start by parting the hair at the highest point on each eyebrow and bringing the part together about two to three inches back in the middle. Try to make this as even as possible. This might take a little bit of practice. But now that we've got that down, we're going to take that part and pin it away to do it later. I take the rest of the hair and split it into one big part on top and one much smaller part on the bottom. We pin or tie the top part up to keep it out of the way. I always like to use the satin scrunchies. They are much better on your hair than a regular hair tie. I always brush out whatever parts that I'm about to put up in rollers. And I'm using the Cara Care Foam Wrap Set Lotion that I get from Sally's and pillow rollers that I get off of Amazon for my wet sets. Taking one to one and a half inch sections, I like to saturate each piece of hair with the lotion very thoroughly. I usually use half to a full pump of the product per section. I like to make sure that I saturate the roots and the end the most thorough so that it makes it the most smooth as opposed to the frizzy crazy mess that you see going on at first. I take the pillow roller and put it underneath the section of the hair and I wrap the hair around over the top of the curler making sure not to twist the hair and to make sure to tuck the ends flat instead of letting the ends either stick out or fold underneath. Once you roll the entire section up, make sure it's rolled up very tightly to the head. It will prevent the curls from falling out overnight.
I like to do the wet set overnight curls instead of heat because I already bleach my hair and cause a decent amount of damage and I try to limit the amount of damage to, to just the bleach. A wet set does not necessarily mean wet with water. If I try to do a wet set with water, it won't dry evenly overnight and I'll still have wet pieces that don't curl in the morning. The setting lotion gives me better and just more overall even results. And when I say don't twist the hair, as you can see right here, I'm making sure it's all completely flat going around the curl instead of kind of twisting it around the improper way. I'll show you in my next video what I mean by twisting it. I'm sure that there are probably better setting lotions than this Care Care one that I use, but this is what I found that works for me. I get good results with it every time. If anyone has any suggestions to ones that I should try, leave a comment down below and I'll try them. Uh, I don't really expect for everyone or, you know, even most people to really have hair as crazy as how mine is at the start of this, but it does show how much this technique actually does really work. You can also, and you should, and this is only something I do when I am thinking about it, is take your fine tooth comb and comb through it after you have the product in. It helps distribute the product even more evenly.
Alrighty, I'm slowing it back down here to show you how I do the front part of the hair. As you can see, it's basically knotted itself somehow. I have no idea how that had happened. So I just make sure to brush it through very, very gently. Of course, I try to be thorough with every one of the curlers, but this part I try to be the most thorough because this is what shows the most. I like to roll these in the opposite direction than the way that I will want them to lay the next morning. It gives a little bit more volume and makes them stand up a little bit easier. And I always do everything with these with the strand facing up or out. Just again to add a little bit more volume to the hair. Again, just make sure that these are nice and tight right up against the head. You don't want them going anywhere overnight. Now that these are finally done, I'm going to show you a little bit of the back to show you what they look like. They're not very uniform, I won't lie. But I take a satin scarf. I just got this off of Amazon. It came in a pack of three. I fold it in half into like a triangle. I put the wide part on the very back of my head and tie it up in the front. And then I like to tie it off at the front and I tuck in those front curls. I usually sleep with these overnight, but you could just leave them in for a few hours, basically until the setting lotion dries. Alrighty, and we are back the next morning here. I had already taken the scarf off. I wanted to make sure I could properly wash my face. But I start taking the curls out one by one. I start with the bottoms, bottom curls. I always unfold the two sides and I actually unwind the curls. I don't just try to pull the curlers out. Speeding through this so you guys can still see the process but not have to watch the what would have been basically an hour and a half long video. I like to leave the front part of the curlers in so that I don't get it mixed up with the rest of the hair. But I start out by finger combing the curls, and then I go in with a wide tooth comb just to kind of start making them a little bit more loose, making sure that they're not quite so curly. 
We're going for Hollywood Waves, not Shirley Temple with this one. I know that I do look extremely tired. Keep in mind this was at like 5 in the morning before I had done any makeup or anything. And after using that wide tooth comb, I go in with the Suavecita hair pomade. I take a good amount of it and I rub my hands together with it and then I run it on the outer parts of the curls. It just helps smooth out the curls that kind of got a little bit crazy with combing them out. And then I take these, I think they're called alligator clips. I just got these off of Amazon too. I take them and put them in and kind of push the top of the hair up to still give it a little bit more volume. And if you have more than two of these at a time, I don't know where all of mine went. You can do the entire back of your head. I just couldn't find any more than these two. So I left these two in for the time being while I style this side. And then I take a smoothing comb, it's just a bore, br bore bristle brush, and I smooth out the ends of my hair around my hand to kind of shape it. And then I take whatever is kind of hanging out that I don't really like and I tuck it in underneath the hair. And then I'm taking a little bit more of the pomade and I'm just kind of running it over the outside of the hair trying to get rid of any of the flyaways, any of the frizz. I won't lie, this Suavecita hair pomade was really a game changer for me. It makes everything just look so much neater. Then I take that smoothing brush again and I kind of just go at the top of my hair with it, try to make it look a little bit neater. I didn't show myself using any hairspray. I kind of did hairspray as an afterthought after everything was done. Now just repeating everything on the other side. I won't lie, this is a lot of work. Like, this took me quite a long time, but it's very worth it. And now that the back is done, I'm taking out the front rollers, and I'm winding them down like the rest, not pulling them out. Don't forget, this is the part that we want to make look the best. This is the most visible. And I finger comb them, and then I take the wide tooth comb again and brush through them. And then when I come back in here with the fine tooth comb, I tease the curls. I start about midway down and curl them toward my scalp. Tease them toward my scalp, sorry. And then I take the smoothing brush again and I move the hair the opposite side that I had set the curls. I start smoothing out the part that will be visible. I'm not trying to brush out the tees, I'm just trying to smooth the outside. I'm taking a little bit more of that Suavecita hair pomade. I rub it in between my fingertips this time, not through my whole hands. And I use the fingertips to smooth it through the front parts and through some of the back that you'll be able to see. And now I'm taking these wide clips. I think they were called wave clips. I got these off Amazon as well. I take them and I clip the front bang part 
to the side and upward. It helps just keep the volume for the day. And then I take the smoothing brush. I like to do the waves around my hand because it keeps it in an upward shape while I'm doing the lower parts. And I do take quite a few of these clips. I just take them, you can shape the hair inward with them and then outward at the same time. It creates a very nice wave. It does take a little bit of trial and error to get the shape of the hair the way that I want it to lay. But I just keep shaping and clipping until I'm satisfied with the shape of the wave. I like to leave these in to really set while I do my makeup. And then I'm just going to take the side piece on the other side of the head and I'm going to smooth it out with a boar bristle brush and I'm going to kind of just bobby pin that back. And then after this I'll have to do my makeup while all this sets. And now we're back, we're finishing up and taking all the clips out. If you guys have watched this song, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you really like the finished results.